All right, the question of the day is, what is better at shooting things down, Patriot or Iron Dome? And the answer is, it depends on what they're shooting. So every air defense system in the world designed by every single country has its own things that it is good and that it is bad at. For example, Iron Dome excels at like short range rockets, artillery, and certain low range ballistic missiles. Patriot on the other hand doesn't mess with artillery. It's short range rockets, uh, low, medium, and long range ballistic missiles. Not to confuse a long range ballistic missile with a intercontinental ballistic missile. Those are two very different things. Every good way to defend something should be a layered air defense. Now, layered air defense is comparable to defense in depth. Now, the definition of defense in depth means that as that enemy is getting closer to you, they are hitting increased numbers of fires. More guns are pointed at them the closer they get. Israel has one of the best layered air defenses in the world, aside from the United States, Poland, and Germany. I mean, all of them are pretty comparable in their own way. So if you got 50 things coming at you, this system takes 10, this one takes 12, this one takes 15, and you just eliminate as much as you can to keep yourself alive. So that's what we're seeing in Israel right now is a complete overwhelming saturation of their air defense systems. They just can't keep up with the amount of things that are being thrown at them. Now, keep in mind, if you're throwing that much stuff, it's going to be a finite resource. Eventually, you will not be able to throw any more at them because you just don't have any more. Now, this isn't really a one-off. The United States does saturation attacks when we decide to go fisty cuffs with somebody. We did it in 2003 against Saddam. Saddam had actually really good air defense systems. He had a bunch of Russian systems, and they were bodied because Uncle Sam can put thousands of munitions in the air at any given time in the same exact direction and have them hit almost simultaneously. Anyone who's ever worked air traffic controlled can tell you that combat airspace deconfliction is a nightmare because you have friendly jets going out, you have friendly jets coming back, you have friendly missiles going out, you have friendly rockets going out, you have friendly artillery going out, and then of course you have to clear zones in case the enemy decides to counterattack and now you're trying to smoke their thing so you gotta clear those missiles and then make sure that your aircraft can, you know, defensive counter air against the enemy air attack like it's it's a complete nightmare